buckle your seatbelts, kids. It's time for another stupid developer controversy. Voidpoint, the indie developers behind recently released Ion Fury, the game I just made a spotlight video of a couple days ago, which is quite good, is in hot water after screenshots of comments made in their Discord found their way to gaming message board and general hellhole Reset Era. Reset Era? A site I had never heard of before today and wish I could remove from my brain. It's basically NeoGAF 2.0, but worse. And while I'm not super familiar with the history of gaming forums like this, visiting Resetera for five minutes to check on this Ion Fury story gave me a very comprehensively unpleasant idea of what it's all about. So here's the actual story. Voidpoint's developers had a public discord where they would talk to each other and fans about whatever, and sometimes the topic would shift to cultural or political issues, which would put some of the devs into their SJWs are bad mode, as they'd be inclined to do if their beliefs aligned with that idea. But what also came up sometimes was the topic of transgender people, and the extent of the transphobic part of the controversy literally comes down to a couple messages where someone from the dev team wonders whether or not trans people have something wrong with their brains, and another one where someone says that if you're a parent deciding if your child is trans at the age of three, you're mentally ill. That last statement is 100% true, by the way. That's the same thing Mario Lopez got stupidly flamed for saying. And the first statement is a worthy question to ask if you're not familiar with the research. I've gotten into the topic of transgenderism plenty of times before in Stream of Consciousness, so I won't do it again, but suffice to say that these questions and statements are very much in line with traditional mainstream conservative viewpoints and even moderate liberal ones. They're controversial as far as there are some people who disagree with them. That's it. Some people are like, this kind of thought literally kills trans people. No. If acknowledgement of biological actualities kills you, you should blame the people who let you become so insulated from reality that a single dose of it could drive you off the deep end. The people who harm trans people the most as a whole are the ones who believe they can only properly exist in an imaginary utopia that denies basic science, and thus condition them under the guise of compassion and justice to refute medical evidence and deny clinical psychology and refuse actual help and guidance through what is doubtlessly a grueling and tragic existence. But I'm not going to get into that, lol. Resetera should absolutely under no circumstances ever be used as a legitimate reason to take any action whatsoever. The person who created the thread calling out the Discord banned anyone who commented on it saying anything less than fuck these guys. One guy replied something akin to, these developers have opinions that are different than yours, but they've never hurt anybody, so let's not try to start a witch hunt, yeah? He got banned by the thread creator, and the reason given was downplaying bigotry. This is who you're giving credibility by promoting them as a source for your gaming news article. People who ban dissent, speech tyrants. Some of the higher-ups are also pedophiles, according to recent exposés, so that's neat. But the transphobic comments aren't the only aspect of the story, it just bears the brunt of it, and it's the only thing Game Informer mentions in the headline of the article they wrote about it. There were also some complaints about homophobic jokes in the game. Like, I guess on one of the walls there's an advertisement for a parody of Olay Lotion called O-Gay. Yay. Is it funny in context? No. Is it kind of funny to talk about in retrospect? Yes. It's such a dumb joke. Nobody's stepping up to the plate to defend the quality of oh gay. But like, the joke itself sucks, but the fact that they did the joke is mildly humorous. The game takes place in like a Robocop version of the 80s and is inspired by the classic Duke Nukem, so it's not that far out of left field. The real story here, which is to say the only thing I would have reported on out of this whole mess, is the fact that if you boundary break the game and look outside the map, you can see a hidden developer message that reads, Here's secret fag bag, la ra unholy fanfare. I don't know what the fuck that means, but a dev message used a gay slur that people can find if they hack, so that's at least mentionable, I guess. I wouldn't want the guy who wrote that to develop my games. I wouldn't want to worry about people finding hidden shit that makes me look bad. That's something I would actually apologize for. But instead, that aspect is taking a backseat to the shocking spectacle of developers expressing mainstream cultural opinions to each other. The funny thing is that by hyper-focusing on decidedly the wrong thing, you're rallying people who are against cancel culture and puritanism when it comes to jokes to just increase the sales of Ion Fury. The game ain't gonna suffer. It was meant for Duke Nukem fans, and you have exposed them for making jokes that Duke Nukem fans would like. Good job there. 
By the way, I recommend this game for anyone who likes classic FPS titles. I've been playing it more in my spare time, and it's just fun. Wish there wasn't fall damage, but other than that, it's a good time across the board. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at sunburnedalbino, and I'll see you guys next time.